App ratings and reviews are vital to your app's success in the Google Play and App Stores. People use ratings and reviews to decide whether they should or should not download an app. Therefore, getting users to review your app is an essential component in your app development and marketing strategy. There are many packages that you can use to facilitate your app users to leave ratings and reviews for your apps. But in my opinion, the launch review package is the simplest and easiest one to implement this feature. So in this video, I am going to show you how to integrate the Flutter launch review package to your app and how to test it on Android and iOS. As always, the first thing that we need to do is to go to the launch review package page on the pub.dev website. As you can see, it is a pretty popular package. To install it, you just need to run this command in a terminal. And that's all for the installation. Now we can go anywhere in our .code where we want the user to launch the review and call the launch static method from the launch review class. For this demo, we will use this elevated button to launch the review. For that, in the unpress call back, we will write launch review launch. It takes an application ID for Android and iOS app ID as parameters. Later in the video, I will show you where to find the Android app ID and the iOS app ID. For now, let's test it on Android. If the user clicks this button, it will be redirected to the app page to where it can rate the app and leave a review. Yes, it is that simple. However, there are some important things that you have to keep in mind. First, to be able to test the package, you must at least have a beta version of your app available on the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. To know how you can prepare and publish your Flutter app, watch these videos. Once your app is published in beta or in production, you can find the app ID by going to your app page on the Play Store for Android. The application ID will be the last portion of the URL. You can also find it in your app build.gradle in the default config section. The same way for iOS, you can find the iOS app ID by going to your app app store page. The last portion of the URL is the iOS app ID. Another thing to keep in mind is that contrary to Android, where you can use an emulator that has Google Play to test this package, you cannot do the same using the iOS simulator. You must have a physical device to test it on iOS. So now, with my iPhone SE connected, I can run the app to test it on iOS. If we click the Rate App button, as expected, we are redirected to a page where we can directly enter the review. If you prefer to send the user to the app page, set the Write Review parameter to False. Also, if your app is only in beta, not yet in production, and you want to test it on iOS, you have to set the iOS beta parameter to True. Now that we have gone over all the parameters of the launch method, there is even a simpler way that you can launch the review for your app. It is to simply call the launch method without any parameters. In that case, the launch review package will use your app current package for Android or bundle ID for iOS to automatically determine the Android app ID and iOS app ID. But keep in mind that this shortcut of launching the app without any parameters will only work if your app is already published. As I mentioned earlier, there are other packages that we can use to request reviews. In future videos, I will show you how you can implement those packages in your apps. So hit subscribe if you haven't done so yet, so that you don't miss out on those videos. And don't forget to smash the like button. 